the cyclic quadrilateral ABCD, so ABCD, cyclic quadrilateral, is a trapezium with AB being parallel to DC. So AB is parallel to DC. So we have the trapezium, which is a four-sided shape that has one set of parallel sides. Prove that AC is equal to BD. So prove that AC is equal to BD. So a trapezium is a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides being parallel. So let AC and BD intersect at the point M. So AC and BD intersect at the point M. As AB is parallel to DC, so AB is parallel to DC, given in the question, by the alternate angles theorem, angle 1 must be equal to angle 2. So we have a set of parallel lines and a transversal cutting between them, then the alternate angles are equal. So angle 1 is alt alternate to angle 2, so they must be equal. So angle 1 drawn in orange is, is equal to angle 2 drawn in green. By the angles standing on the same arc theorem, angle 1 is equal to angle 3. So angle 1 drawn in orange is equal to angle 3 drawn in blue. So we see BC is our arc, and we have the line BA and AC coming together at the point A, forming angle 1, and the line BD and DC coming together at the point D, forming angle 3. And since they are both standing on the same arc, these two angles must be equal. So angle 1 must be equal to angle 3. And angle 2 must be equal to angle 4. So angle 2 drawn in green must be equal to angle 4 drawn in pink. So if we take this arc at the top AD, we see that angle 4 and angle 2 are both standing on the same arc. So again, they must also be equal. So angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Thus, all the angles angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4 are equal because we've proven that angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4 so they are all equal to each other. So angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4 are all equal. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4 are all equal. ABM is an isosceles triangle. So A B, M, so this triangle here on the left is isosceles because we have proven that angle 1 is equal to angle 4. So if these two angles are equal, then these two lengths must also be equal. And so angle, so the length A, M is equal to the length B, M. So the yellow line is equal to the green line. So C, D, M is an isosceles triangle as well. So C, D, M on the right is an isosceles triangle. Um, because we've proven that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. So if these two angles are equal, then these two sides must also be equal. So the pink line and the blue line. Thus, MC is equal to MD. Hence, AC is equal to AM plus MC, which is equal to BM plus MD, which is equal to BD. So AC, so point A to point C, so both of those are touching the circumference of the circle. So this entire line is made up of AM plus MC. So AC is equal to AM plus MC. And we know that AM is equal to BM because we proved that AM is equal to BM. And we know that MC is equal to MD because we proved that MC is equal to MD. So if these two added together are equal to AC, then these two added together are also equal to AC. And BM plus MD, so BM plus MD together makes the line BD, so they are equal to BD. So therefore, AC is equal to BD, and that's what we're asked to prove.